Level changes from Bad Matsarian, trying to get a little bit of a bite from his opponent. Both these guys very similar build. A little bit of a feeling out process here, Kirik. Both men obviously respect the skills of one another. Alman Bet trying to come straight down the center with a, either a kick or a punch. He's going to try and land it straight in. There's the first one. Nice level changes from Bat Matsarian. Very strategic opening to the, the bout here. Both guys trying to get a read on each other. That's the second time Batman Serian has gone for that inside leg touch. You may see him do that just to come up top with an overhand. Try and beat his opponent into reacting. He's got to watch his threatened knee if he's a little too, little too slow and a little too obvious with that takedown. Batman Serian mixing it up with the hands and the kicks. Ulu getting ready to launch something big. There he is in on that takedown. Bull rushes his opponent towards the cage. Double underhooks, big takedown. Well, he's doing everything he can to establish a dominant position in the half guard. Right now showing his wrestling savvy by not rushing it, not trying to do too much at once, by position before anything else, establish that position and then go to work, Kirik. Statistically, it's tough to get a takedown. It's even harder to hold somebody down. Thus far, we're seeing an excellent job on top from Dorchiev. Alman Bet staying calm, trying to dig in for the underhook, trying to scoot back to the fence and use that to wall walk up, but Doing a good job, he's up to a knee. Very nice work from Alman Bet. Excellent job by Ulu, using that cage to strip his opponent's arms off of his back. And now you see Alman Bet in on a takedown of his own. That's huge that he was able to take down the freestyle wrestling champion. Has the hands connected just underneath the posterior of Bad Matsurin. But Bad Matsurin manages to get back up. If you are a fan of wrestling and mixed martial arts, this is an absolute treat. Once again, absolutely fantastic matchmaking from the Brave Combat Federation matchmaking team. Our president, Muhammad Haq, the Hawk Shahid, always involved in this, assisted by several people. So a take down a piece for the gentleman inside the cage thus far. Dorchev has landed the greater number of strikes. Some of the more telling strikes, those leg kicks, but beautiful takedown. Again, the injury on that was absolutely sumptuous, Kirik. Absolutely, the timing it takes, the number that you talked about, how if you train hard, fighting is easy. What you saw is a perfect example of that. If you have done that shot in the gym thousands of times, yeah, you can make it look easy, but of course it's not. And I like the work from Bad Matzer in finishing the takedown away from the cage this time, because last time Alman Bet was able to use the cage to get back up. Now it's right in the open of the cage. Very smart work. Yeah, what you're seeing here is the evolution of mixed martial arts. It used to be the common wisdom was once you took somebody down, you wanted to push them up against the cage in order to hold them there. But people developed techniques to use that cage to walk back up off the floor. Now, as you noted, the smart place to put somebody is dead center, and the most genius place is towards the center but close to your own corner so you can hear your corner's instructions and your opponent cannot. Alman Bet has been trying to scoot back and age towards that cage. He's got himself back against the cage. Can he use it to get himself up again? Nice pressure work here from Bad Matsurin. Elbow coming, there it was. Just trying to get a couple of strikes in there. There you go, end of the first round. A very cagey affair to start, Kerry. 
It was. He was very intelligent, though. This is intelligent fighting. This is fighting is supposed to look like when you don't let your emotions run away from you. We get a quick look at some of the action there. Both men trying to get the strikes off. Takedown against the cage. First takedown of the fight come from or came from Bad Matsurin. Alman Bet was able to use the cage to get back up. I'd love to see that second takedown if we could again, because the entry into that was flawless. This might just be the closing stanzas of the fight. Interesting approach there from Alman Bet in the corner. He's actually sitting down on the cage as opposed to still being used by Bad Matsu. Both corners very intelligently uh, applying ice to their fighters to reduce the temperature. Brave Nation, because of the television lights that make this worldwide broadcast possible, it gets extremely hot inside the Brave Combat Federation cage. That ice can be vital in reducing the fighters' temperature so they can give you another great round. Nice show of respect there from the fighters. But Matsun trying to give his opponent different looks. There's the threat of that takedown, which, as I've said before, could lend itself to open on, opening up a striking opportunity. Alman Bet just showing Dorchiev the knee, letting him know that it's there if he comes in lazy with the takedown. Oh, nice strike over the top from Bad Matsurin. Seems to find his range a little bit quicker in the second round. Constantly changing levels is Bad Matsurin. Alman Bet doing the right thing by circling away from the cage. Can't be skirting. He's landing that shot at well. Alman Bet becoming just a little hesitant to pull the trigger on those shots. I think he wants to actually turn it up just a little bit here. Try and give his opponent a slightly different look. Amon Bet trying to find his rhythm, trying to find his range. But it's not quite there yet. But Matsurin began freestyle wrestling at age 11. That is 16 years competing in wrestling, a multiple time freestyle national champion. Also showing that he's got very clean boxing. Lands his shots and gets out of the pocket very well. Brave Nation, it takes a ton of time, if your background is in wrestling, to develop excellent strikes with good time. Wrestling is basically all pulling, boxing, of course, all pushing. Rhythm's different, timing's different, speed versus endurance needs are different. It's very hard to acquire this level of skills in both wrestling and in boxing. So the more effective output so far in the second round has come from Dorchiev. Again, beautiful timing on the takedown. He waited for Almond Bet to land his strikes, planted the feet, ducked down underneath, and gets the takedown right in the center of the Brave Arena. But Masterine now needs to take advantage of this takedown. A takedown in and of itself does not mean a lot in a mixed martial arts fight under the latest interpretation of the unified rules. And that, now we're starting to see something done with it. Doing a good job with that paper cutter, just framing off. Applying pressure to the throat. It's not going to get him to tap, but it is going to take his mind off other things to open up something like a pass, like it just did. Very intelligent from Dorchiev. Clean guard pass. Establishes the side control, heavy hips, keeping nice and low. Momentarily looked like he was going to step over the head. Little short elbows. May try and isolate a wrist here. And the 
man on the bottom. What does he need to do in this position, Kerry? He needs to move those hips a little bit more. He's too content to be flat on his back. Once you're flat on your back, there really isn't much that you're going to be able to do to get at her. He needs to pivot his body, turn his hips in towards his opponent, shrimp those hips away, and then start to work. Just you can see why the wrestling of Bad Matsurin is so highly thought of. Controlling the hips of Alman Bet at the minute. Alman Bet is managing to, to, to control to a significant degree any hard shots coming in, but he's not able to control his opponent. He's not able to win this fight, and that's what this sport is all about. It's not about being able to survive. Bad Matsurin trying to get that knee on belly, thought about transitioning into the mount. Realized he was slightly off balance. Back into the safety of the side control. Switches the scarf. Very, very dominant work from Bad Matsurin. Bad Matsurin may be thinking about sliding right up across to mount. Nice work from the fighter from Kyrgyzstan. Used his opponent's aggression to get back to a closed guard. From this closed guard, he wants to try and control his opponent's head to limit leverage. He wants to try and sweep. He wants to try and submit to take the back. Thus far, we've just seen defense. Well, for the first time tonight, we will be going into a third round, Kirik. And for my money at the minute, but Matsurin is up the two rounds, so you're really going to see Alman bet. Well, he has to. He has to come out with the greater impetus, and he has to get a finish in order to win this fight. Phil, I feel the exact same way you do, and I say that with a high degree of confidence. I believe the corners here both know what's going on. Ulu needs to finish his opponent in this third and final round. Quite simply, he cannot get taken down in this third round. He's going to have to get on the bike. He's going to have to employ a lot of movement and land his strikes. But the thing is, as we've seen so often in mixed martial arts, Kerrick, when a fighter is chasing the finish, they leave themselves vulnerable to the likes of a takedown or being finished themselves. That's exactly right, Phil. He needs to try and end the fight in this round, but he cannot do it by throwing one-twos, one-twos while moving forward. That will accomplish only getting put on his back. He needs to employ feints, circular movement, try and break through his opponent's uh, thus far, unstoppable will, and then land a big shot. Here we go, third and final round in this flyweight bout. And surely if you were in the corner of Bad Matsurin, you would just say it's a lather rinse repeat performance in the third round. Absolutely, keep doing it. It's never wise in a corner if your opponent, if your fighter is winning, let them keep doing what they're doing. Spinning back kick attempt from Bad Matsurin. Really need to see something a little bit more offensive from Alman Betts. There it is, nice stiff job. He needs to follow that up with something. He can try and counter. If he feels like he has a, a clear, full sense of his, it, he can do what he's trying to do there, back up and then land a shot. But it's a lot harder than initiating a shot. Big swing and a miss from Bad Matsurin. Amon Bet probably, Amon Bet's probably gonna throw one more shot. He's shifting a little bit. He's trying to draw his opponent in to time him coming in. Both fighters shifting now. Going from orthodox to south, south pawn and back. And in a situation like this, Bad Matsurin, he's happy to, to wait it out. You know, he knows he's up two rounds. The, the, the impetus really doesn't lie with him to make something happen here, Kirik. It does not. He should do exactly what he's, he's been doing. Just fight his fight. If the takedown's there, go for it. Stay on top. Don't lose position by trying anything too crazy. Instead, employ a tight, careful grind. Dorchiev is showing us how you win a fight in mixed martial arts on the unified rules. And there it was. And on the single, manages to get the takedown. Alman Bet manages to get back up, but good work to swing the hips, almost like a golf club swing to get his opponent on the ground. Alman Bet looking for a key lock, Kimura from bottom, unsuccessful with it. Nice head position from Bad Matsurin. 
just underneath the chin of his opponent. Does Alman Bet have enough left in the tank to work for that stand-up? He is trying for it. Did try to bump his opponent there. But again, great control per potential for a head-on triangle setup here from Bad Matsurin. Beautiful job to step over into the mount position. Shelf the legs momentarily. May take the back here, Kerik. He's, I believe he's now going to actually allow his opponent to try and stand and use that, that tiny little moment his opponent stands to fully take the back. Slowly trying to get that arm underneath. Alman Bet doing the right thing, going two on one on the choking arm. Alman Bet ideally at this point would pass that arm over to the far side of his head. At that point, he would have a very real chance of escaping. Little rules clarification. You can hold on to an opponent's glove, but you can't slide your fingers inside of it. That's what we saw here very inadvertently, I believe. Padmasarin happy to work with that one hook in. If he gets two hooks in, it would be disastrous for Alman Bet. Dorchev in no hurry at all to finish the fight. He knows that he's essentially up the two rounds and is in the ascendancy in this round, Kirik. He is thus far, same as it ever was. Doesn't need to take any unnecessary risks, has the dominant position, happy to land his strikes. He's trying to isolate that wrist. And if you're Almond Bet, you have to go all out. You have to explode now to try and pop up. At this point, you've got to either try and stand or victory roll, possibly even offer your opponent something in hopes of escaping it. But right now in this fight, it is all Bad Matsurin Dorchiev. Twenty seconds left in the third and final round. Methodical workmanlike performance from the 27-year-old from Evolve Gym Moscow, Russia. And surely he is on his way to a unanimous points decision, Kirk. And that ends it. Badmatsarian helps his opponent to the feet, shows a wonderful degree of respect. 30-27 in that fight at the least. Showing a little bit of love to the crowd. And you see just how much of a dominant factor wrestling is in mixed martial arts. Many people say that it is the most important base in mixed martial arts. And after a display like that from Badmatsarian Dorchev, I would be inclined to agree. I agree with that, that sentiment 100%. Although sometimes the most important form of wrestling is, is anti-wrestling. If you want to keep the fight standing, you use your wrestling ability not to take your opponent down, but simply to keep yourself from being taken down. At that point, the wrestling is a little bit invisible, but it's every bit as much right there. There you see the dominant wrestling. Not in any rush to hunt for the finish, put himself in any unnecessary danger. Very intelligent performance from Bad Matsurin Dorchiev. Scores are just being tabulated as we wait. Oh, I think that everyone who watched that fight will be uh, leaning to the side of Bad Matsurin. Bad Matsurin, Dorchev, speaking to Brave Nation from the corner. His face is full of confidence. Almond Bet, a little bit of regret on his face. Carlos Kramer is ascending the steps and entering the cage. That can mean one thing and one thing only. We have an official decision. All right, Brave Nation, another classic battle inside the Brave CF. 
RSM 51 cage. After three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards, and all three judges score the bout a unanimous decision victory. Out of the red corner, that's me, Syrian, BC, the Chie. Carlos Kramer makes it official. Huge win for Bob.